Music can take you anywhere. It took me from singing in a strip. Tell me what you waiting for. Jennifer Lawrence. No hard feelings. The Golden Globe goes to... Emma Stone. <laughs> buy it too because it's really nice i want this one in black yeah i like it yeah it's so nice i love you i love you too i wasn't talking about you i wasn't talking about you i was talking about someone else i'm confused so i asked for a picture and kai said no oh my god mm -hmm. wow <laughs> uh, a lot of people have been asking about my arm. It's actually my shoulder. And I think tonight is a perfect time to tell everyone that Kieran Culkin can beat the sh out of me. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> I just want to say, um, yeah, I have to put this down. I haven't, I still don't have the strength. No, I can't, I'm, I can put this down, right? No, I just, uh, I don't work out, you know what I mean? I can't hold it that long. I want to thank all the evil gays, you know? I just really, really, I, I just... I, I love, love you, baby, baby, but time. Okay, guess what? Guess what? One more thing. I love, I love you, too. I just want to say one thing. I had a little dream in my little town, and it okay. didn't... Everyone said it was impractical, and that it was far-fetched, but it did happen after all, so don't give up on your dream. Oh, my God. I can't. Get out. Oh, my God. Welcome to the 81st Annual Golden Globes. I'm your host, Joe Coy. The key moment in Barbie is when she goes from perfect beauty to bad breath, cellulite, and flat feet. Beauty the Ah, or what casting directors call character actor. <laughs> my mom loves you, everybody loves you, Meryl. You know my favorite line from you? Legendary, this one. <laughs> Wakanda forever. Okay, the crickets aren't even laughing. It's, it's, it's brilliant, do it again. Like, you better cross, cross, cross. <laughs> Wakanda forever, do it. Yes! That's it! I'm not doing this. Uh, the big difference between the Golden Globes and the NFL, on the Golden Globes, we have fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift, I swear. <laughs> Like, literally the dumbest person I know. Like, why don't you, like, go fucking back to high school or some shit? Like, you're literally the dumbest person I've ever- And the Grammy goes to- SZA! I say, now we really drink it. I'm out of breath because I was changing. And then I took a shot and I ran here. Lizzo and I have been friends since 2013 when we were both opening up in small rooms for like 100 people. And to be on this stage with her is so amazing. I'm so grateful. I love you. Um, I'm just very grateful. I'm not an attractive crier. Have a good evening. <sighs> My brand new album. Well done. She already told everybody.
obviously is subjective because, you know, it's music. It's opinion based. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. Shut the fuck up. My business. Some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you may get robbed. Some of you don't belong in the category. S-T-O-P. Stop. Hello, Emily. Wow. Bit of a frosty hello to me. Not at all. No, I'm just happy that we can finally uh, put this Barbenheimer rivalry behind us. And the way this award season's turned out... Wasn't that much of a rivalry, so... <laughs> just a lot of it's true. Uh, you guys are doing very well. But you know, I, I think I kind of figured out why they call it Barbenheimer and they didn't call it Oppen Barbie. Why? Because you were riding Barbie's coattails all summer. Ja, ja, ja. Thanks for Ken explaining that to me. Mr. I need to paint my abs on to get nominated. You don't see Robert Downey doing that. You're kidding. I'm just scoot on over and let you whack him. Get him again. Get him for me. Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. Yikes. Oh my goodness. Damn, Damn that's that stupid, stupid, guys. Wow, I don't even. I'm. This is. I'm. I'm shocked out of my balls. So. And the Grammy goes to. Taylor Swift. Are you joking? Thank you guys so much. Thank you to the champagne servers of tonight. That's my first thank you. Congratulations, bitch. Like, we've been through it. And you fucking made it, girl. You made it. Billy Eilish and Phineas. I had a nightmare about this last night. Um. <laughs> um. Ryan and Margo, I want you to know that even if neither one of you wins an Oscar tonight, you both already won the something much more important, the genetic lottery. And that's not a period. A prick. I do think she called him a prick. When a nude man ran across the straight stage, which if you, can you imagine if a nude man ran across the stage today? Psst, Jimmy. What? I uh changed my mind. I don't want to do the streak of it anymore. Fine, just give out the award, thank God. <laughs> okay. Costumes, they are so important. I, I, I can't open the envelope oh without the... Oh, my God. The... There. You look beautiful. To demonstrate the importance of writers and writing, we ask that this segment be written not by writers, but by studio executives. I am relatable. I am enjoy the Golden Globes. Do you agree? I, I do agree. Mm -hmm. As do I. And then there are the actors who also think that they're singers. Jack Black. <laughs> Ariana DeBose. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. My own business. I'm sitting here, I'm about to tear the f up because I'm not happy. I'm not happy that you would do this. Robert Downey Jr. So the Critics' Choice Association, you know, they've given me such beautiful uh, feedback, really. <laughs> Just so many great moments, and some of it's so poetic. I just want to share some of their thoughts with you. Sloppy, Sloppy messy, messy, and lazy. lazy. The next one is more metaphoric. Like Pee Wee Harmon emerging from a coma. Um. And uh, lastly, and this one lingered, um, amusing as a bedlocked fart. <laughs> no, we need to ask him. Really. Yeah. I hope they think I did better this time. And the Emmy goes to RuPaul's Drag Race. Thank you. And listen, if a drag queen wants to read you a story at a library, listen to her because knowledge is, and if someone tries to restrict your access to power, they are trying to scare you. So listen to a drag queen. We love you. Thank you. 
sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. There's other times where you do what we have to do. Thank you all so much. I don't think I forgot anyone, but I might have forgotten, forgotten underwear. Bye. Gang. <laughs> Doja Cat put out a song, Paint the Town Red. It is a banger about how she doesn't care what anybody thinks about her. Oh, really, Doja? Oh, really? Well, well guess, guess what? what? We think you're pretty great. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I said what I said. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. We are backstage with Grammy winner Coco <laughs> Jones. Oh, my goodness, Ooh. to hear... Those words, Grammy winner. Hi guys, so da, 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 da. yes I did that. And you would do it too for a check. I was an employee. And I was gonna get an employee out of mine. And nothing free. Write my name in the sand. Why are you acting like you don't know this song? I didn't wanna leave you, but I had to. I didn't wanna fight, but we did. Started to cry, then remembered, I just won my first Grammy! And I'm honored to be in such great company, holding it down alongside my girl, Sweetie. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I am feeling excellent. Better now? I know. That's right. Oh, I am so excited for tonight, too, and I can't wait to see the fashion and some of my friends. Oh, most definitely. It's going to be an epic night for sure. Now, I'm hearing that a bunch of the stars are already starting to get the party honor of us hosting for the first time forever together on the VMA pre-show, it's only right that we have a little celebration to commemorate this milestone. The birthday celebration, baby. It's a our birthday, birthday. Cake. birthday. It's I'm birthday. bringing a cake for you. Sweet surprise. Oh, so, ooh, that, see, you always eating crazy. Yeah, what, why, why you do that, sweetie? Why you just stab it like that? Like, literally the dumbest person I know. Like, why don't you, like, go fucking back to high school or some shit? Like, what? You're literally the dumbest person I've ever Out here turning up and having a ton of fun on the Let's go. We've got more We got more from your favorite nominees, more glitz, more glam, and definitely more music coming your way right after the break. And you're not going to want to You're not going to want to miss what we have up coming on the VMA pre-show. I know that's right. Can you say magnetic, charismatic? And tonight's winner for videos, and tonight's winner for video for good is... It's Bobby Bad! Sweetie, how do you feel? When they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never run. Shakira! 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 And the Oscar goes to Emma Stone. Boy, um, my dress is broken. It's gonna be so bad. Oh boy, this is really, this is really overwhelming. The women in this category. It has been such an honor to do all of this together. I hope we get to keep doing more together. And you know who I want to thank? I want to thank me. For believing in me. 
and doing what they said I could not do. And I want to say to myself in front of all you beautiful people, go on, girl, with your bad self. You did that. And while I won't do anything if you cut me off this year, I will kick your ass if you cut off whoever's about to win this award right now. Then along came the best gift. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Shut up, please. <laughs> I, I, I can, can beat you up, okay? And that's serious. Mother. I really love the third season of The Morning Show, especially when Jen's character um, had a fling with her soon-to-be boss. I also have a history of sleeping with my bosses. Shout out to Ted Harbour from the E! Network. Anyway. Did you know right away that this, this show was going to be something? No, not at all. Actually, as a matter of fact, when I read it, I thought, oh man, I really want to play this character. This seems really good. Who the hell is going to want to watch the show? And I felt that way through halfway through shooting the first season was, I still think we're making a good thing, but I wouldn't watch it. I don't know who ended up. <laughs> Here are the nominees for best song. I'm, I'm just, just kidding. Barbie. Even if my name was Natalie Nunny, bitches still pinch and check me. Accepting on behalf of. Music can take you anywhere. It took me from singing in a strip. <laughs> mall. Yes, that's mall. Sorry. Okay. No. Strip mall.